What is going on ladies and gentlemen, my name is Ecoli Espresso and welcome back to another Advanced Warfare video here today on my channel. Today we're going to be talking about is the zombie storyline. Now in no way, shape or form am I claiming to know everything about it or know how it ends, anything like that. But there are some things that I would like to bring to your attention that I caught up until this point from both the ending cutscene of the Exo Survival Zombies Wave as well as in the actual Exo Zombies game mode. Throughout that tease of zombies and all the way up until Outbreak, there were a few things that really stood out and dictate where our story could go. So let's start at the very beginning. This will all start whenever Atlas drops the Manticore. This can be seen in the actual Exo Survival game mode on Riot. That's what leads up into the bonus round with the zombies. It infects everybody. After it's dropped, it's then turned every single enemy in the Exo Survival mode into zombies. Now complete the wave and you meet up with Gideon in the Warbird and he tells you there's not much left. Being Atlas employees though, he and the rest of those employed by Atlas were unaffected. That includes you, the player. It ties in directly with the campaign's Manticore, which targets specific DNA. So Gideon gets pulled into the horde, we know that, and that's something that we've yet to see resolved, but I'm sure will be resolved throughout the remaining three maps. Now, this is all pre-Havoc at the very moment. Now, as of the Havoc DLC, we got the Outbreak Exo Zombies map. From there, we know a little bit more regarding our story, not much but some. Now, there are two pieces to this puzzle, one a little more trivial and one that is completely solid. The first of which, surprisingly, the trivial piece is actually the Easter egg. Spoiler alert for those who want to do it by themselves or haven't seen it already, it's a bit anticlimactic. You do all the pieces to complete the Easter egg, but when you do, you call in a warbird and it gets shot down. But the interesting part, though, is what it's shot down by. What it actually gets taken out by is a care package, and all throughout the mode, our characters will mutter stuff about how Atlas is sending supplies through the orbital care packages and that they are air quote watching. We don't get much more than that. Now the second piece of this puzzle is the death sequences. Depending on how you die or who you play as, you'll get one of four messages while the ending scoreboard shows. It further confirms the fact that Atlas is air quote watching. The man and the woman exchanging dialogue seem to be using our characters as lab rats. Now I can't really explain it much more other than actually letting you guys take a listen. So here they are. Vitals are offline. They've been overrun. Interesting. They lasted much longer than the others. So, were the objectives met? No. There's more work to be done. Initiate phase two. Satellite confirmed. They've been overrun. Initiate recall. I want to know everything that happened. They finally went down. Two satellites have confirmed. Put boots on the ground. We need to make sure. Roger that. Satellite confirms they've been overrun. Excellent. Retrieve the specimens. Bring them in for further testing. Roger that. So as you can see, Atlas, or whoever this may in fact be, definitely has some purpose for letting our characters be used almost like lab rats. As to who they are, that is still yet to be determined. That is something that I guarantee will be parts of the Easter eggs in the next three DLC map packs here, and maybe even carrying over into Advanced Warfare 2, if that is eventually what happens. Like I said, I don't have many answers, but I did want to share this with you guys because I honestly love this kind of stuff. The backstory and Easter egg storyline of second game modes is on Honestly, one of my favorite things in the Call of Duty series. I loved following the Extinction storyline, I loved following the Easter eggs and the zombie storyline for the past six years. That is something that I honestly love doing, and now that Advanced Warfare has some backstory to it, I want to keep you guys in the loop and let you guys know everything that I know. So to recap before we end this real quickly, there is a bunch of stuff that is going on behind the scenes that a lot of the viewers and players don't necessarily know of. There is somebody either at Atlas or some other faction that is using our characters as lab rats and pretty much testing what can happen with a zombies outbreak and the manticore DNA bomb. But that's where we're going to end it today, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me just think down there in the comment section down below. What are your thoughts on all of this? Who do you think it is behind all of this controlling our characters in Advanced Warfare Exo Zombies? If you did like the video, be sure to leave a like rating down below. Any shares your Facebook, Twitter, and your MySpace. If you're OG like that, always greatly appreciate it. If you're new here, be sure to subscribe for the best of Call of Duty Advanced Warfare content. Any new news and information, you guys know exactly where to find it right here on my channel. Thank you guys once again so much for watching. My name is Nicola Espresso. As always, hope you guys are having a great day. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Take care and peace. Surprise, motherfucker. <laughs>